What is going on, Trash Talkers? We're back with another episode for you. In today's video, we're going to give you our predictions for the Buffalo Bills, Kansas City Chiefs, AFC Divisional Round game. All that and much more coming your way right now. Hey Trash Talkers, over 85% of you are still not subscribed to the channel. Please be sure to hit that red subscribe button and turn on notifications as it will help us create more daily content for you. Thank you and enjoy today's video. All right, Nick, the Buffalo Bills are moving on after trouncing the New England Patriots in the wild card round. The Kansas City Chiefs did the same, but to the Pittsburgh Steelers. Both teams moving on after pretty easy victories and not really having to show too much. So we're really going to have to rest on our judgment of these teams back from week five when they met. And uh, Nick, why don't you tell us a little bit about what the Bills were able to do in that matchup where they absolutely blew out the Chiefs? Yeah, the Bills absolutely had their way in that week five matchup, but they had a key piece. Tredavious White was a part of the Buffalo Bills and the Kansas City Chiefs were missing some key pieces, including Chris Jones, their big star defensive tackle. So those are two big swing players for Buffalo Bills and the Kansas City Chiefs. Now for the Buffalo Bills though, as of late, Tredavious White is a thing of the past because this team is playing lights out. They're playing like they absolutely don't need him and he's a, an all pro player. That just shows me that the Buffalo Bills are one of the deepest teams in the NFL and they are all playing on the same page at the same high level and they are just so hard to get past they know what this environment's like. They've been there this year. They know what to do once again, and they're going to have the same game plan to just use Josh Allen in every facet of this game, whether it's throwing the ball, running the ball. It's going to take a lot out of this Chiefs defense because, believe it or not, the Kansas City Chiefs weakness on defense is still their linebackers and now we see their secondary starting to be the issue as, as well and guess what the passing attack for the buffalo bills could not be stronger the run game could not be stronger it's making josh allen one of the most lethal quarterbacks in the nfl right now to me the kansas city chiefs defense is in the same spot they were back in week five still playing at that same level even though people want to coddle them and say that they're they're a much better defense than they were they're not the Buffalo Bills are going to prove once again that they are not a good defense. The Kansas City Chiefs are not a good team. That he's going to absolutely destroy them. And, and on the defensive side of the ball, we're going to see Patrick Mahomes struggle when he's throwing against Micah Hyde and Jordan Poyer. Levi Wallace, who is doing an incredible job playing CB1. We see Gabe Jackson, the replacement for Tredavious White, step in and play like he's an all-pro as well. It's incredible what this coaching staff can get their players to do. It's incredible how many high-quality players they have. That defensive line is absolutely stout, so good luck to any running back for the Chiefs running the ball. It's going to be a one-dimensional approach from the Kansas City Chiefs, and it's going to play into the strength of the Buffalo Bills defense. When you've got Josh Allen on one side, and you've got this pass defense on the other with the heavy run support up front i just see absolutely no way that the kansas city chiefs can get past them to me it's going to be a repeat of week five the buffalo bills are going to absolutely trounce the kansas city chiefs in this matchup and it's not even going to be close i'm taking the buffalo bills i don't even see patrick mahomes getting the light of day in this matchup I mean, listen, the Kansas City Chiefs, you, you talk about them getting absolutely rocked by the Buffalo Bills, but the matchup before this was last year's AFC Championship game, and guess what? The roles were reversed. The Kansas City Chiefs put up 38 on the Buffalo Bills, the Bills 24. So you can say that this is kind of a heavyweight matchup 
going in. Both teams have had each other's numbers at different times over the last year or so. Now you see these teams know each other very well coming into it. And no Tredavious White is the big issue. You look back at that week five matchup, you talked about no Chris Jones, and I know you're going to discount him, but Jerron Reed was also not part of that defense. This is a massive, stout defensive line that the Buffalo Bills offensive line is going to have to contend with, and they're not going to be able to do so. They are going to struggle mightily with the front four that Frank Clark and Chris Jones and company are going to be able to present to them. At the end of the day, the Kansas City Chiefs are a championship caliber team, and the Buffalo Bills have not shown that ability to get over the hump, and that's why I'm concerned about them. When you take a look at the Kansas City Chiefs, Patrick Mahomes is playing lights out. He did not do that in their week five matchup. 33 of 54, 54 pass attempts is not good for the Kansas City Chiefs. Patrick Mahomes threw for 272, two touchdowns and two interceptions. Those One of those interceptions, Greg Rousseau with a crazy, just absolutely insane pick right off the defensive line should never have happened but it helped turn the tide in that game. Now you take a look, Patrick Mahomes is playing much better. You take a look at the game that he just had against the Pittsburgh Steelers, and obviously the Bills and the Steelers defenses are light years in between them, but the fact remains, Patrick Mahomes, Tyree Kill, Travis Kelsey, these guys are all on the same page. These guys are going to light up the skies, and I expect Jerk McKinnon and CEH to be able to run the ball on this Buffalo Bills defense. They struggle against power running teams. They're going to have a hell of a the time matching up with the Kansas City Chiefs and what Eric Bieniem is going to draw up on offense and I fully expect the Chiefs offense to carry this team. On the other side of the ball though, the defensive side, I think that the Buffalo Bills are going to be able to do a lot of what they want to do. It's going to come down to can the Chiefs make the plays that come their way? Can they get the interceptions that bounce off of hands? Can they get sacks on Josh Allen? Can they contain him in the pocket? These are all things that we saw New England try to do but completely fail at. And now we see the Kansas City Chiefs coming in with pretty much a fully healthy defense. Can they make him uncomfortable? Can they make Josh Allen not himself in the pocket? Because if you go back to that week five matchup once again, the Bills they had Josh Allen completely spotless. No sacks, no interceptions, and very few pressures on Josh Allen all game long. It's It was not a recipe for success, and I expect that Steve Spagnuolo is going to get this defense right up and ready for this matchup, and I believe that the Chiefs will actually come out on top. Yeah, well, I, I want to revisit last week. I want to revisit the wild card weekend for both of these teams because you say that this is going to be different from that Week 5 matchup where Greg Rousseau had an interception as well. The Kansas City Chiefs versus the Pittsburgh Steelers, yeah, the Kansas City Chiefs won handily, but in the beginning of that game, it was very close. Eerily close if you're a Kansas City Chiefs fan and not something you want to see going into a game against the Buffalo Bills who are much better. TJ Watt single-handedly kept the Pittsburgh Steelers in that game and, and he's an absolute freak. I'm not saying that a TJ Watt exists for the Buffalo Bills, but when you, you look at each of these players, they have the full capability of putting it on Patrick Mahomes. The Kansas City Chiefs offensive line struggled with the heavy pass rush from the Pittsburgh Steelers. TJ Watt got to the quarterback quite a bit. We saw TJ Watt had a return fumble for a touchdown because of that pressure got on the running back, Patrick Mahomes. That offensive line could not hold up. TJ Watt was able to tip a ball that Patrick Mahomes threw because he's trying to throw with a low trajectory, something he always tries to do. Buffalo Bills are tall guys. It's going to be tough to play against. It's going to be tough for Patrick Mahomes to do what he normally does because the Buffalo Bills are just built to stop exactly what he loves to do. I just don't think that you can take what we saw from the Buffalo Bills Patriots matchup and the Kansas City Chiefs Steelers matchup and say, offensive line for the Kansas City Chiefs can hold up to that front seven of the Buffalo Bills and that the Buffalo Bills are just going to crumble under Patrick Mahomes. It, it just makes no, no sense. Nobody to me. said crumble. Nobody said crumble. In fact, but you're saying they're not going to be able to do a single thing. That's not what I said. You're not listening. Use your damn ears. 
The fact is that the Buffalo Bills are a very good football team. They have not been able to get over the proverbial Kansas City Chiefs hump that's been in their way for years on end. It, it's non existent. Kansas City this year. Chiefs have championship caliber experience. It's just the facts. And right now, the Chiefs have the Bills number. You, you talk about this as a heavyweight fight. Well, the Chiefs got their number last year in the AFC Championship game. The Bills can have every win they want against the Chiefs in the regular season. Come postseason time, Eric Bieniemy. Andy Reid and this Kansas City Chiefs offense is going to be absolutely unstoppable. I think the Buffalo Bills are going to truly struggle with no number one corner following Tyreek Hill around. It's going to be one hell of a matchup for Levi Wallace or Gabe Jackson to follow Tyreek Hill, Byron Pringle, Demarcus Robinson, whoever around, and then also try to stop Travis Kelsey. I think you're really discounting what we saw from Kansas City and you're taking too much stock into what we saw in week five. At the end of the day, I think it's going to be a very close, high-powered, high-octane matchup. I have the Kansas City Chiefs coming out on top in a very close one, and I'm going to say it's going to be about 38 to 35 Kansas City Chiefs. You're the only one here who believes this is a heavyweight matchup because well, to there's me, only two of us, so yeah. Well, the the Buffalo Bills are a heavyweight. The Kansas City Chiefs are a facade, a mirage. They are not who you think they are. They're going to fold. Steve Spagnuolo doesn't know how to coach a defense, especially defense that has no talent on it besides Chris Jones. I don't expect the Kansas City Chiefs to keep up with Josh Allen and his offensive power. It's going to be too much. It's going to be a very disastrous game for the Chiefs. I'm taking the Buffalo Bills by a wide margin, at least two touchdowns. Well, you, you have your way of thinking, and then I have my correct way of thinking. So we, we can all sit here and debate all day long, but I want to hear from you guys. Let us know in the comments down below what you expect to see from the Kansas City Chiefs Buffalo Bills matchup in this game. I'm really excited for it, and let us know what you think is going to happen. All right, well, that's going to be all for now. Thank you all for watching. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell. We go live every single day. That'll be all. Peace and love.